Hey everybody, today is day four of the 30 day challenge, 30 day video challenge. And uh, you know, there's a few people that are choosing to do this video challenge that are a couple of beautiful women are like in the bathtub, you know, and uh, a couple of guys are doing it shirtless. I decided I'd go rebel and wear clothes. <laughs> Oh, uh, I know. So anyways, you know what wanted to come up to be talked about today is magic. Like I wonder in like where in your life you have magic that you're not even aware that you have magic. And uh, it's really funny because one of the areas that I'm really magical with is actually cooking. And the more I've chosen like these, you know, to take these classes and to be aware of sort of my talents, gifts, and abilities, you know, in any area, um, I'm aware that this is one area that I totally create magic in. So for example, like earlier this week, I was like, you know, my son was coming over, he was helping my hubby with some farming. And, uh, I was like, oh, he, he likes when I make this hamburger soup. We haven't had it in a while. That sounds really good. So I decided I would make it. And when I was in the grocery store getting something, I saw buttermilk. I'm like, buttermilk? Oh, scones. I used to make these buttermilk scones, like with cheddar cheese in them, all the time when the kids were at home. I'm like, oh, yeah, that feels really light. And then one of the girls at work was, it was her birthday. On Tuesday, I was going to be working with her Wednesday, and I make these, uh, they're fruit muffins. I call them fruit muffins. They're actually a diabetic muffin, but they are just so good. It's probably my favorite muffin. And uh, I thought, well, I'll make those too. And I thought there was one other thing that I was going to make. So anyways, you know, I make, I make all these things, and um, my son was kind of like, you know, he was sort of into or not into the scones. I think he had one. And I thought, well, that's really funny because it felt really light to make them. And usually when something is light like that, it, it will create more. And it's not always saying that that means that they're going to get eaten. But yet a lot of times that is what it means. So, uh, so the next, so I'd said something to my hubby and he was like, nah, you know, I'll just have the soup. Okay, whatever. So the next day it ended up that um, he had a bowl of soup again. And he, yeah, okay, I'll have one of those scones. He kind of, hmm, you know, so I give him one. And he's like, oh, that was really good. So he has another one, and then he has another one. And then the next day, that's what he requested was more soup and more scones again. And I also then took a few to my daughter with where she lives in a different town. And um, I, it's just like, that seems really, really simple. But those are areas where I wonder when we're just allowing ourselves to sort of have no point of view about something, do something we just enjoy to do, and we follow the lightness, like the universe can, like it'll pop into our head, you know, make hamburger soup. It's like, okay, make scones. Okay, all right. You know, and you don't have the logic of like who's going to eat it and when and how, and yet it just creates magic with it. Well, especially because I do enjoy cooking those things. And I'm sure that my love of cooking, you know, assists with that too. So, um, you know, what little areas in your life, like, are you like really fantastic at ironing? Or, um, you know, that's if you iron. I know a lot of us don't iron anymore. We don't need to. Um, you know, but where in your area, in your life, is it something like at work that you just have that little bit of magic at that just comes so easily for you? And, you know, what would it take to have more of that in more areas of our lives? So anyways, I keep these, these things pop across my screen and I'm like, whoa, what is that? And it's like, never mind. Just the title of the next song that's playing on my iTunes. <laughs> so anyways. So how does it get any better than that? Have fun looking for places. Like where are you magical in your life that are just in little areas? They seem like little areas, yet they're ones that maybe, you know, we're not on stage for, we're not getting paid like big bucks for or something like that. But yet it creates more in the world. And it's just something really simple and really fun. And uh, it brings you joy. 
So look for it. And if you find it, hey, you know, at the bottom of this post, you know, write it below. I'd love to hear about it. Anyways, day four. See you guys tomorrow.